Welcome back to I Know Football. This episode is my spotlight for Kicks on Court. My name is Matt. I'm 28 years old, and I'm from Chicago. Um, that's actually a very good question. So I play minor league football, I play arena football, and uh, one year I was in between seasons, I was looking for a new helmet, and I really liked this new helmet that Riddell came out with, and I couldn't find any information on it. So I looked at YouTube, Google, Ask People, no one had any information, uh, and you know, I'm kind of OCD like that, I really need to know everything about something before I buy it. So I couldn't find any information, I decided, you know what, I'll just go spend the money, get it, uh, hopefully I would like it and uh, I would make a video showing the differences and things I liked about it and hope that it could help other people. So that's how it started. Um, why I continued it is, uh, you know, I like helping people. Uh, I'm from Nigeria. You know, my parents weren't very familiar with American football. Uh, when I was in high school playing it, I didn't know anything about equipment. Um, you know, I was running back. I had lineman shoulder pads. I had lineman cleats. I actually wore baseball gloves because to me they looked the same. And uh, you know I was a basketball player, so I didn't really you know have someone to tell me. So um, I definitely like helping out other people, so they don't have to go through the same thing that I went through. Uh, one of those is going to be, of course, you know, kicks on court by Nightwing two three zero three. And uh, what I really like about that is he's um, a lot like me, or I'm a lot like him, however you want to say it, but. Again, going back to just, I have to know every single detail, just being, um, you know, just really observant about everything. I'm very, very particular. Some people call that picky. Um, and so Nightwing does a great job of telling me everything I need to know about a sneaker before I go and invest that money. So I kind of stumbled across his channel. It was recommended to me, um, you know, by YouTube. They recommended me a video. I watched it because obviously, I, even though I'd have a football channel, uh, I'm a hooper too. And um, I, you know, saw some shoes I like. So he actually helped me to purchase these, which are the, uh, you know, the Nike Hyper Dunks is the plus edition because I like this colorway. Go ahead and take a look at it. So this is my hooping shoe, what I hoop in right now. But uh, he had everything on there from traction to the way it fits, to the breathability, um, things that I was looking for in a sneaker, things that a lot of other channels don't have. So for my go-to, I go to Kicks on Court, Nightwing, 2303 his channel if another channel has that same sneaker and he doesn't for some reason or I can't find it on his I won't even watch the other channel because I know what I'm getting when I go to kicks on court I actually still have one of these so I'll share with you guys um, there's many shoes I like to hoop in um, and right now like I said I use the uh, Nike Hyper Dunk Pluses uh, but this right here these are the original Zoom BBs. Um, I don't know how many of you guys watching this are even, you know, old enough to, to really know what these are when they came out. But this is before Hyper Dunks. This is before Zoom Kobe's. Uh, they might have had some LeBrons out, but this, this was a good sneaker right here. So these, some people call them the Jason Kidds. Some people call them the Steve Nashes. Some people call them the Tony Parkers because they all wore them. So obviously, uh, you know, for point guards, uh, they have a really thin you know, uh, sole at the bottom. They use Zoom Air in the in the forefoot and in the heel. Um, and when you put these on, to me, me and my cousin, we used to call them the Ferrari shoes because when you put them on, they feel so comfortable on your feet. You can actually feel the air as you walk, like the Zoom Air. I mean, I felt like I was the quickest. I felt like I jumped the highest. The only bad thing is the ankle support, as you can see, wasn't really there. The heel counter isn't all that big by any means. You kind of got this section right there and uh, there's not a lot of support for landing. So, you know, I'm not a high flyer, but I am in the air a lot um, and it doesn't have that. But in terms of your toe off and being quick and getting to the bucket, this is definitely an issue right here. So every now and then I throw these back on, you know, as throwbacks uh, just to have some fun with them. But uh, definitely has to be one of my favorite shoes of all time because when it came out, they were just so different than anything I had ever put on my feet before. But definitely now the technology's improved and uh, they definitely make some better shoes out there. So just I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about my channel. Um, I know this is more of a football channel, but uh, I definitely, as you can see here, 
cover a lot of footwear uh, as it relates to football, so it's different than uh, some of you sneakerheads out there. But a lot of you might play basketball and football, you know, or just like uh, the sport in general. So definitely be sure to check out my channel. I know football. I'm here for all your football gear reviews, everything that you ever want to know about playing football. So um, thank you very much. I appreciate all the support from you guys. And for my subscribers, thank you. You've made me who I am today. And definitely, I just want to give one more shout out to the man himself, Nightwing2303, uh, kicksoncourt.com. Thank you very much for allowing me to do this spotlight. And make sure you guys, make sure you go and you check out his channel, Nightwing2303, Kicks on Court, for all your sneaker needs. If you're a hooper, that is a must. You have to subscribe. Check it out. I'll see you guys next week.